Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm back on site working on the second pantry shelf. I was able to get the first pantry shelf completely filled. Uh, all the stuff from the top floor got brought down, almost all of it fit, uh, and now I'm gonna be working on the second shelf. And I'm, and t I'm kind of excited about trying to get that one done because it's easier to hide stuff when it's on the shelf. You can pack things on the shelf, put some drop cloths in front of it, and it's not so obvious. When the electrician had come for the electrical inspection the other day, he was up in the top and all the stuff was all, all up there, and he said, you know, what you always hear in the prepping community, what are you, getting ready for the apocalypse? You know, because there's a lot of food up there. Uh, you know, there are so many reasons to have a lot of bulk food in your house to have a well-stocked pantry, you know, just not running out of stuff, the convenience factor. But also, whenever I go to the grocery store, I, you know, if I see a sale, I buy a bunch of it. You know, uh, if there's an opportunity, I buy things in bulk. So I'm, I'm always saving a ton of money that way. I figure my grocery bill versus other people's is probably 10 to 20% less, you know, getting the same amount of stuff, but I pay less for it because I buy it in bulk, I buy it when it's on sale and everything. With everyone complaining about never having enough money, that's a really easy way to save a whole crap load of money because I mean food budget is a big part of everybody's budget but you know everyone sees and they're like oh you know the apocalypse you're getting ready for the apocalypse um, and you know in the prepping community we always talk about trying to play that a little close to the vest if there ever was some, some kind of a situation you don't want a line of people coming to your door you know looking for handouts and stuff so I'm trying to get the stuff onto the shelves covered up in drop cloths so it's just not so obvious we do still have two inspectors coming before the final so i guess that's a total of three inspectors coming and you know i would like to limit the number of people that know that i have a crap load of food in the house to just the electrician at this point um so yeah i'm working on that today i've uh it's really cold out it's about 20 degrees and windy out here so i'm trying to limit how much i'm outside doing as much work as i can inside just prepping all the boards out here uh this shelf is going to be about half the depth of the other one the other one was 28 inches deep this one is 14 inches deep um and the way that i've been doing uh the the shelf uh these are these are going to be the supports that go between uh the two posts uh that are going to hold up the shelf boards the way i've been doing is i made this little you know jig where I've got one board that's 14 inches long and then I can just slide another one right up next to it put that down on the saw and make sure that I don't trim the uh, the template one while I'm doing this because you don't want to keep shortening it with every cut line it up there and then I really quickly can get another 14 inch piece these are the last three here uh, some of the ones that I'm making these are uh, out of two by threes some of the ones I'm making are out of larger uh, dimension boards that I just had scraps of you know 14 inch pieces you know it's nice when you can find a use for that uh, so I'm gonna be ripping them down on the table saw to get them all to be two by three size uh, and then I'm just gonna assemble the thing inside it should go pretty quick I, re I already did the last one I got the learning curve out, out of the way on that and uh, hopefully by the end of the day I can you know, have most, if not all, of the uh, shelf up here, and then I can start, you know, putting the rest of this stuff on that shelf, get it covered up, and uh, again, we're just waiting for those last two inspections. Plumbing is supposed to happen today, I was told, but, you know, I, I, it's not going to, like, like uh, rock my world if they don't show up. I'm getting pretty used to that, but they are supposed to come today, and then it's just a question mark about that smoke detector person. I mean, it's been a couple weeks, you know. The electrician said they were going to check with them again, so we'll see about that. I'm looking forward to getting back inside though because it's 20 degrees and windy. That's it. Thanks for watching.